Hi, my name is Shijil and in this video, we are doing the full review of the Honor 9i smartphone. If you like small bezels and a large display, this smartphone might be suitable for you. But we always have to consider other things than the display while purchasing a smartphone, right? Let's discuss more about this smartphone. The Honor 9i comes with a 5.9 inch display with slim bezels all around. The 18 is 9 aspect ratio allows the smartphone to have roughly the same footprint of a 5.5 inch smartphone with 16 is 9 aspect ratio and large bezels. Above the display, we have the soft LED flash, front dual camera setup, earpiece, and notification LED, and other sensors. Bottom bezel is empty as this smartphone uses on screen navigation buttons. The fingerprint scanner is on the rear panel along with the dual camera setup and LED flash above it. The curved sides and edges make the smartphone comfortable to hold. It feels solid too thanks to the metal unibody design. The phone feels little slippery so you should be more careful while holding it without a case. The rear dual camera modules protrude by a couple of millimeters but it has a metal rim surrounding to protect the glass from scratches. The Honor 9i comes with a 10 watt charger in the box along with a pair of earphones and a transparent plastic case. The power button and volume rockers are on the right side. On the top is the secondary noise cancellation microphone. The SIM tray is on the left edge which is hybrid which means you can either use two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one micro SD card at the same time. The 3.5mm audio jack, primary microphone, micro USB port and the main speaker are at the bottom edge. The Honor 9i is powered by a Huawei Kirin 659 octa-core processor clocked up to 2.36GHz. There is 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. It comes with a 5.9 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display. Rear camera setup uses one 16 megapixel sensor and one 2 megapixel depth sensor along with LED flash. Front camera setup uses one 13 megapixel sensor and one 2 megapixel depth sensor along with soft LED flash. Battery capacity is 3340 mAh. Fingerprint scanner is on the rear panel right below the camera module. It runs EMUI 5.1 based on Android 7 out of the box. Honor decided to stick with their own custom EMUI interface with the Honor 9i smartphone. The EMUI 5.1 is based on Android Nougat which has its own visual style and offers lots of customizations. There are gestures that simplify taking screenshots and launching apps. There are knuckle gestures which works by knocking on the screen. You can double knock to take a screenshot or do a two knuckle tap to start screen recording. Talking about blot ways, there are many. The Honor 9i has a few custom apps including HiCare, a service support app, HiGame, a gaming app store, and some other community web shortcuts. EMUI also has support for themes, which gives you the ability to change the look of the device completely. Features like split screen multitasking are also present. The Honor 9i is powered by a Huawei Kirin 659 SoC which has 8 cores out of which 4 cores are clocked at 1.7 GHz and the other 4 cores are clocked at 2.36 GHz. There is 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage which can be expanded using a micro SD card in the hybrid dual SIM slot. There is support for micro SD cards up to 256 GB in capacity. Out of the 4 GB of RAM, you will get around 1.8 GB free on the first boot. And out of the 64 GB of internal storage, we get around 52 GB free space on first boot. The performance is similar to what we get from other devices in this price segment. There is no noticeable lag while opening apps and even while using multiple tabs in Chrome browser. Games like Asphalt 8 has some lags in the beginning. You might not be able to play graphically demanding games in high settings. Asphalt 8 gameplay was smooth after reducing graphic quality to medium. In 9 to 2 benchmark, the Honor 9i scored slightly less than the Xiaomi Mi A1 and Moto G5 S Plus, which have lower price tags. In Geekbench single core result, the score is better than other smartphones in this segment. But in multi core result, it scores lesser than we expected, 
overall, the results are good. In base, Mac OS 2 benchmark, the Lenovo K8 Plus scored more than all other devices in this segment. 3D Mark I's Storm scores are also similar to other smartphones in this segment. The default video player was able to play high bitrate Full HD videos and even 4K videos without any issue. The phone does not heat up while day-to-day -day tasks, but it does get a little warm while playing games for some time. The Honor 9i will grab your attention with its large 5.9-inch full-view display with a Full HD Plus resolution. It has good viewing angles and touch response, but the display could have been more vivid. Sometimes the colors feel washed out. There is option to change the color temperature, but there is no option to boost contrast. The display is bright enough for indoors, but under direct sunlight, you might struggle. The specification list also didn't mention about any kind of protective glass on the display. And there is a pre-applied plastic screen guard which you should replace with a glass one for better experience and protection. You will enjoy playing games and videos in this big screen. By playing some games, the sides are getting cropped out to get full screen gameplay. There is no option to switch back to 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. The next thing you will notice is the four cameras, which is the biggest highlight of this smartphone. There are dual cameras on both front and back. The rear camera setup uses a 16 megapixel sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Front camera setup uses a 13 megapixel primary sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The camera app has a simple interface, but there are lots of options to play with. In the home screen of the camera app, you get controls for the flash, aperture mode, moving picture mode, and portrait mode. You can swipe right from the default screen to access different shooting modes. Apart from HDR, Panorama and Video, you get Pro modes for both photos and video. You also have the option to download some additional modes. Pro mode lets you adjust different parameters like ISO, shutter speed, exposure, focus and white balance. You can also shoot images in RAW format. The default auto mode for photos does the job well. The secondary 2 megapixel depth sensor allows the smartphone to shoot images with depth effect. The same is applicable for selfies as well. The front camera's bokeh effects are slightly better than what the rear cameras can do. Low light performance is average. There is not much noise, but there is loss of detail. Due to the front soft LED flash, low light selfies are good. Both front and rear camera is capable of recording Full HD videos in 30 frames per second. Video quality is pretty good, but any kind of stabilization is not present. While recording videos using the front camera, you can use the beautification mode, but the video output will be restricted to 720p. Honor 9i comes with a 3340 mAh battery, which does the job well. While playing games, the battery level drops a lot faster, so keep an eye on the charge level while doing processor intensive tasks. Comparing the battery life shows that Honor 9i has a bad battery life when compared with most other smartphones in this segment. 30 minutes of charging gives around 27% of battery life from 0%. It takes more than an hour to charge up to 50% and 1 hour and 45 minutes to reach 75%. After that, it takes 30 more minutes to reach the finish line. 0 to 100% in 2 hours and 15 minutes. We played a Full HD video with 70% volume and full brightness in loop for 90 minutes and the charge dropped by 21% and the phone's temperature went up to 37 degrees. The charge drop while playing videos and gaming is too much. To save the battery life, you can turn the power saver mode on, but it will shut down the background process and background syncing. The lack of fast charging is disappointing. With moderate usage, you will be able to get a full day battery life from the Honor 9i. If you are into gaming, you should keep a power bank with you always. The fingerprint scanner is in the rear panel. It would have been better if it was placed a little lower. Unlocking is fast and it does offer much more than that. You can use the fingerprint scanner to display the notification panel. It is also possible to browse photos by swiping left or right on it. It can also be used for taking photos and videos, answering the calls, stopping alarms and much more. 
you can add up to 5 fingerprints in this device. Connectivity options include Wi-Fi 802.11 BGN, the high-speed Wi-Fi AC is not here. Bluetooth 4.2 and GPS are also present. It has 4G connectivity with support for voice over LTE and it does work very well with Reliance Geo. The call quality and network reception are also good. We didn't face any call drop issues. The earpiece volume is loud and there is no distortion in high volume. Speaker is also loud without any distortion. NFC and USB OTG are also supported. It has an RGB notification LED. Using an appropriate software like Lightflow from Play Store will allow you to gain more control over it. Accelerometer, proximity, light and magnetic sensors are there, but zero sensor is missing. It is good to see that the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio is not restricted to flagships only. The LG Q6 with an 18 is to 9 aspect ratio was launched in the Indian market few months ago. But it is not offering much features as the Honor 9i. The Honor 9i is not a perfect smartphone, some improvements are needed. If the price was around 15,000 rupees, it would have been a much better option. If you want a smartphone with 6 inch 18 is to 9 display, the Honor 9i smartphone is good. That is only if you are willing to sacrifice the battery life. If you want a smartphone with dual rear cameras, the Xiaomi M1 will be a better option. If you want an all-rounder smartphone, go for the Moto G5 S Plus. In short, if you are not into gaming and don't care much about battery life, go for this smartphone. There is a link in the description section if you want to purchase it. More camera samples and images of this smartphone are available in our website. You can find its link below. I'm ending this video here. Please like and share this video as we are a new channel that will help us. If you haven't already subscribed to Next in Web, please do it now. That's it for now. See you next time. Have a great day.